We're at Pahaska Teepee, two miles outside of Yellowstone National Park. Just thought I'd come in here and show it to you. Must be dinner. Hear that bell? Soup's on, come and get it before I slop it to the hogs. These are the teepees you can rent. There's two sides to each one. I don't know the prices because I've never rented one. But I imagine it's moderately expensive. I would estimate hundred and a half a night, I would think, being two miles from Yellowstone. Our campground is only 14 miles from Yellowstone. There's a campground here. The closest one's called Three Mile Campground. All these National Forest campgrounds, that's what we're in. Three Mile Campground is closed because of the Grizz activity. Part of my campground is closed because of the Grizz activity this year. I'm in the only open site in that area. And uh, it was a little, little nerve-wracking last night. First night in Grizz country always is. Even in a trailer like that. you got to understand, there's a lot of food in that trailer. There's dog food. I mean, that thing's just like a big cooler to a Grizz. And if you think about it, you can't even keep a tube of toothpaste in your tent when you're camping in Grizz country. It's enough to get you killed. And here I am, sleeping inside of a food cooler. Shaggy wants to, me to let him go so bad because last year he went through that electric fence and got in that water. He knows it's down there, but he's not going this time. This is uh, Buffalo Bill Cody's hunting lodge that he built. It's 110 years old now, all original, except for obviously some of that green roof. But everything else in there is original. Two dollars to get in. If you reach down in your pocket right now and get two dollars out, I'll take you in there. We're making a YouTube of the outside of the cabin. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's awful cold. And there's Buffalo Bill himself. He showed up today. Really cold in here. It always is. Why, why did he want it like that in a cold area? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's just the structure just with just of what it is. Yeah. Right. I mean, for summer it's great, but he's got a huge fireplace. Original light. Those are even the original light bulbs that when Buffalo they Bill in, that in. Buffalo Bill put in. There's the horse. Thank you, ma'am. There's the horse stall over here. Let's see how Shaggy does around the horse. Patchy's in the truck because we what we hiked her around and she started doing the putting on the brakes on me. Didn't want to go this way. Didn't want to go that way. So I put her in a truck. I try to let her do what she wants. She's older. I'm not going to force her, but we're not going to limit what we do either. Well, that's not true. We do limit what we do. We could go hiking him and me right now. Howdy. Yeah, she's in the truck now. You have one? I do, yeah. Oh, you got a boy, huh? I do. Does he run alongside the horses? Uh, well, he's back in Arkansas. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah, he's talking to you. <laughs> um, no, not today. I got two dogs with me. Down a bit. Oh, I can't do that to I'd him. happily watch the dogs. I love that jack. There's a guy in our campground up there at uh, Elk Fork that took me out one year, and I had the Jack Russell in my lap the whole time. The okay. border, the border collie had to stay back at camp. I respect people that ride horses. <laughs> it's not as easy as you think. <laughs> so where do you take them all the way up the canyon? Oh yeah, you bet. You see a lot of grizz. He's afraid oh, of. Look at. He's afraid of the horses. They have. Look at, he's afraid. Yeah, he's like, that's a really big dog. That's what he's thinking. You, you yeah, do see really Grizz up there? Dog. Say what? You do see Grizz? Ray has. I haven't seen any myself. Do you guys go armed? Uh, yeah. We have bear spray. But no rifle or shotgun? No, just a bear spray. That's, I guess that's enough, huh? 
Generally. They normally spook if you just make noise. How many of them do you carry? Just one? There's probably two. Yeah, I always think that two ought to be one the per, minimum. One per person on the trip. So okay. The well, have a nice day, ma'am. You too. Bye-bye. Take care. Shaggy was afraid of the horse. That's a trip. Now there's a grizz over here. We'll see if he's afraid of it. We're at Pahaska Teepee, two miles outside of Yellowstone National Park, just that way. I could take you up to the sign, but we're going to be doing that anyway. I was thinking one day this weekend we might take a day trip in Old Faithful. It's about 90 miles each way from camp. And uh, we might just go for the day. Please do not sit or climb on bear. See the characteristic grizz hump right here? How many minutes have we got on this video? Six minutes. We're still good. Shaggy was afraid of horses. I've never seen that. Patchy would have barked at him. I've eaten here several times. It's a pretty good little restaurant. Normally they have the uh, the umbrellas on the seats outside, and I sit out here with the dogs and eat, like, you know, chicken salad. Oh, look at those antennas up there. KB5 ZCS will identify those. Kilo Bravo 5 Zulu Charlie Sierra. Ah, it's probably about 60 degrees. There's a dog. Pahaska teepee. See, she's sleeping. She just, that's what she wants to do. So we let her. This is the Pahaska teepee gas station. It's only, I just checked it, it's only about 20 cents more a gallon than up in Cody. So, you know, if I was going into the park, I would just, I would top off. And they say if you watch that hillside long enough over here, you'll see Grizz up there pounding on logs, trying to get like bugs out of the logs and stuff. But, uh, I need to get a pair of binoculars to get to Cody. Every year I say that. And this year I'm going to do it, because at, at our campsite we can just sit there in the evening having the uh, chocolate shake beer and looking up into the hillside for the for the, the mountain sheep. The Hoska Teepee, two miles outside of Yellowstone National Park. We're clear.